Hey lads, welcome to a brand new tutorial and today I'm gonna be showing you how to use the keyboard as a controller because that is what it simple is and more importantly this will allow you to play games with the keyboard that requires a controller to play such as cricket and also you can play local multiplayer games or split screen games or pass and play games with a single or multiple keyboards without a controller Trust me, I've done this a whole time and this still works perfectly without any problem. First of all, I'm gonna introduce what I'm gonna be using to do all of this. It's just a little free software. The name is Virtual Controller. It is little but really helpful. So what this software does is that it installs a fake virtual controller to our PC. We can install up to 4 controllers. Then we're gonna have to set up the key bindings in order to use the keyboard as the controller and finally we get to play the games without any controller so let's begin let's install virtual controller linked in the description as you can see it's just a little setup file only about 5 megabytes open it up now here you can have to select the path this is important do not install this to C drive just select anywhere else here you can select the version 32 bit or 64 bit you can select x64 if your system is 64 bit or x86 if 32 bit here's how you find your system type Here you can see it shows that my system is 64 bit. I'm gonna install 64 bit. Okay, now open up virtual controller. Here it is, and now we're gonna have to adjust some settings. Now head to the options menu and go to the output tab, and now select VBox. Here you can see there's an install button. Click that and it's gonna install driver of a controller. Well, now we're gonna have to restart the software. Just close it and open it again. Head to the options, output, and then VBox. And now there's a button called plugin. Click that. That will plug in the virtual controller to your PC. Just to say that this button might be disabled for you because the controller is already plugged in. If you want to unplug it, just hit unplug and you can make it auto plug in every time you open the app. Finally, tick enable. This will enable the controller. Now we perfectly configured the settings. Alright, now we're gonna have to do the worst part ever setting up the key bindings. In order to do that, go to controls and this window will pop up it should look like this completely empty and this is how you can assign the keys click this icon right here and it'll take you to quick bindings so here you can see there's a column called output those are the buttons in the controller and the input column shows the assigned keys of the keyboard Ok, I'm gonna take a quick example and let's say that you wanna assign space to button A in the controller. Now first find A button in the output column and click assign next to A button. Now press space. Now you can see in input column, this change it to space and that's how you assign keys to the controller. And when you're done assigning keys, you can close the window and make sure to save it. Okay, I know this looks really hard and boring. Believe me, it is. I have made a lot of key bindings and I'm using this for years now. The way you assign keys depends on the game you wanna play. Personally, I use some kind of trick to assign keys more easily. You can try it out. So, the first step is to download a little file. And this is that file. Now, go back to Virtual Controller. Here you can see an icon that looks more like a folder. Click on it, now select the downloaded file, close it and save it. 
Let me explain what just happened. I pre-assigned every single button on the controller to some keys in the keyboard. Here, let me show you. As you can see, every single button is assigned. Simply, these are the keys I assigned. They say you can play games without assigning keys, but it's gonna be a little bit harder to play. But if you want, you can change the key bindings as the way you want. So finally, press this run button and go to the game, then give it a shot. And if you wanna play multiplayer games like split screen and pass and play or any other local multiplayer games on the same or multiple keyboards without controllers, which means using this software, comment down below, I'll make a video for that. So I guess that's enough for today's video, hope you like it, if you did give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.